Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. We got another Will It Run video today on this home light. What is that? Easy reach, zip start. Uh, the gas has all been drained out of it. It don't have any string on it, but man, this looks like it's gonna run. Uh, I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna send it. Let's put some gas in here. Uh, hit the primer bulb. It doesn't feel like it's cracked, it feels limber. Someone may have drained it before it was put up, I don't know. What I like about it is it is a straight shaft. These straight shafts are worth more than, you know, the ones with the curved shaft. So, yeah, let's put some gas in this thing. I'll get you on the stand. And let's just send it. Let's just see if it'll start and run. Okay, so I got some two-stroke gas here. It's like a 50 to 1 mix. Well, it's actually like 45 to 1 mix. I mix it kind of heavy for the boat. I just took that out of the boat. So... Let's pour some gas in here. I don't, like I said, I don't know. It just says, it says for parts only. But there's no gas in it. It hasn't had gas in it in a while. Okay, this is cracked. Alright, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll do this. And, uh, the fuel lines are limber. So they're not cracked up or anything like that. They're not dry rotted or dry cracked. So that's why I thought, man, let's just do a full send video. Let's see if this thing will run. I'm gonna pump this primer bulb up. And it is sucking gas up immediately. All right, so let's see here. There should be a choke on here. There's the stop button. And I don't see a choke. This is one, two, three. Push eight times. That's all it says. It's got a place for a choke. So I'm thinking that carburetor may have been rebuilt. All right, that should be about eight times. I didn't count it. Uh... Yeah, it's got a place for a choke here, but there's no choke on this carburetor. So, let me back you out here a little bit. Let's see if it'll run. If it does, I'll buy some string and I'll use this for 10 bucks, you know. It's fired. Like I said, there's no choke. I don't get it. You guys heard a fire, right? Okay, there is a choke in it, but I don't see any choke lever. This looks like it's been cut out. Yeah, I see a, uh, I see a choke butterfly in here. And it's closed. So, probably flooded now, but there's nowhere to open it. I don't know if it if it's an automatic choke, but it's got the one, two, three right here. It's a piece of 
plastic off of something right there. Um, <clears throat> let me grab something, stick in there, and open that choke up. See what happens. I just got a little screwdriver here. Okay, it's open now, and it's staying open. A universal head for one of these things but I think it's in our selling stuff <coughs> I don't know if it was for home light but I mean I don't have any string I don't know I got a couple old weed eaters let me see if they got some string on it we'll put some string on this thing see how it runs you weren't filming that? no why? okay guys because because I was singing a slinky song okay guys I mean, you know, this is going to need this cleaned up out of I found some string. It's off of a old actual weed eater. Weed eater. <laughs> One of those little junky things. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the camera. So, I'm sure it's going to need a bigger screen, bigger screen, bigger string than this. But, let's just see if we can make this thing run enough to run it around the yard here a little bit. Because the yard is... Wait a minute, there's a little bit of string on here. Well, yeah, see this is double string. Bye. She didn't even say bye. Okay, so. Let's um, let's just use what string that's in here. Yeah, this is real heavy string that's in here. <clears throat> Got an arrow, tells you which way to string it, and it also gives the size as uh, 0 .080. So, that's the size of string. And what you would do is you would put like that there then you'll take this one out I may have to get a pair of pliers to pull this out let me get a pair of pliers let's try to use the string that's on here first because it's heavier okay so I got it out of there just gave it a little tug on it now we're gonna put take all this junk off of here first somebody was cutting some heavy heavy duty weeds or something with it but it sounds pretty good sounds like it might need an adjustment but uh overall i mean it started and ran yeah somebody was cut, cutting some hay or something with it back on here I think that head I got a universal head I think will fit on this I 
we're just doing a test I'll get some string for it then you pull this one out and pull that one out push that up in and put your little bolt in there tighten it up Alright, that's going to be good enough. Alright, let's get this fired up and uh, try to cut some weeds with it. Okay, guys. I wasn't recording. But let's do this again. going to house where it's cool let's talk about that thing okay guys there you go will it run yes does it work yes it cuts does it cut yes um did we do anything to it no we put gas in it and got the string out of it uh would you get 50 dollars for that thing it's a home light uh or should i keep it let me know in the comments below because we do have an electric one well, we actually had two. We got one that was her dad's. It's battery powered. It's on its last leg. Uh, we did have an electric one that she used to use, but uh, she finally burnt the motor up in it. Well, she, I don't think she did because, you know, I mean, it was a, it was a free thing and we've used it for several years. So I'm thinking, I may keep it. Ten bucks. Why not, right? I mean... Yeah, let me know in the comments. Should I keep it? Because, I mean, hell, that was $10 for a home light. And it's a straight shaft. I need to find my... I got a head. It's got blades on it. It's actually got blades on it for kind of like brush and stuff. Um, I should uh, see if I can find it. But, hell, string for that stuff's very cheap. So, um, yeah. Uh, what do you think, Monk? Should we keep it for 10 bucks? What the heck, right? Stay tuned for, <coughs> excuse me, a lantern video. <coughs> I'm so sorry. For a lantern video. Also, I go the 26th for my surgery. And I go October 2nd to get three teeth pulled here. Um, so, I did find a dentist. It's a ministries type thing. Everyone that's in there donates their time for free. So, it doesn't... I qualified it took about a year for them to get back with us but I qualified so it's not gonna cost me a thing I'm gonna need dentures for sure you know I got periodontal disease I think I mentioned that before but so my teeth aren't rottening it's just my gums are receding and they've receded past the enamel so that's why they like to break or chip so eventually yeah, I'm gonna have to get some dental dentures or something but anyway, so that's the doctor's updates. So, yeah, Monk, let me know down below what you think. Uh, I gotta go tomorrow for some tests or something. Not a big deal, but next week, the 26th, I go in. They're gonna cut me open, put a stent in, and I'm gonna spend the night in the hospital. And when I get out, I'll make you guys a video. All right. So, with that being said, I'm gonna say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone. And uh, I'll just go ahead and run you out of this video. 
by cutting some weeds. So let's cut some weeds. Um, I did let that thing cool down. It's you know considered cold now. I can touch the exhaust. It's not even warm. So I want to see how it does on a cold start. Um, I know you're in Florida. It's 90 degrees. Actually, it's 91. Yes, but cold starts, guys. Just because you know it's 90 or 100 degrees out, your engine's still a cold engine. Because remember, operating temperature is about 195, 196 degrees. It's not going to get that hot sitting there. So that's why I hate when I see these guys what well, run videos and they're having trouble getting something started. They got a screwdriver holding a choke open. Choke it when you can, at least until it fires. There's a reason they put chokes on these things, guys. So I think this is an automatic choke because when I opened it, it stayed open. And then as it cooled down, I watched it, it flipped closed. So it's an automatic choke, but it does have a place for a lever. So I think the carburetor's re been replaced with an automatic choke, which is fine. So I'm going to take you out back. We haven't cut the grass for a long time out back so because we haven't been out there and you know we've been busy so i'm just going to go around here cut some weeds and then i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching guys uh thanks for joining us on our camping trip we really enjoyed having you so we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone take care enjoy some grass cutting it's not going to be like a 10 minute thing but enjoy about 30 seconds of some grass cutting with the 10 dollar weed eater from a thrift store Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Also, I forgot to mention the automatic string feed works, too. And it will, when you tap it on the ground, it feeds out and it cuts it off like it's supposed to. Let's do a little cutting. You, you guys recording? Yeah. All right. Eight times. Got like a new one. Thanks, guys.